This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Greetings to all. Somebody say TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. I am Elder Larry Elston. And I'm Elder Stephanie Elston. Happy Friday. And we will be your host today, and we welcome you to the New Harvest Ministries Friday Midday Mealtime Review. Amen. And on behalf of our great Bishop Marcus Aaron Johnson, Sr., in whom we're so thankful to him for allowing God to use him to give us these great lessons all the week. So pull up a chair. We offer you a seat at the table for this Friday's review of the awesome teaching of God's Word. <laughs> Amen. Now, you are a vital part of this mealtime and the growth of it. This is why we invite you to please hit that like button and please subscribe to the New Harvest Ministries channel. If you have not already, and also feel free to live chat along with us because your comments are appreciated. Amen. 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 Now let us pray and bless this meal. Dear Lord, we come today in the name of Jesus to say thank you. We thank you for another day you've allowed us, God, in the land of the living. Lord, and we're living for increase, increase. Thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing today. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor for just touching God, even this lesson today, that somebody will hear from you and know that their lives are in your hand and you want us to live the righteous one. So thank you today, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, let's get right into our review for this week. And we have a great, great uh, lesson this week. As you know, our theme is living to see increase. Yes. From Psalm 27, 13 to 14. Our series is blessed to see increase. I don't know about you, but I want to be blessed to see the increase. Amen. The lesson to do, for Monday, for Tuesday, actually, is the righteous are blessed. I can say that one again. That's so powerful. The righteous are blessed. Amen. And the text, the scripture, is Psalm 1. Mm. This is a blessed Scripture, Pastor Lair, I know it's one of your favorite. Yes, it is. Yes, it uh, is. It says, "Blessed is the man," and we're not just talking about men. We're talking about women too. Is blessed is the man mm -hmm. that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. Mm. And I like this verse. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water mm -hmm. that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That is a powerful verse yes. in itself. Yes. But the psalm goes on to say the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Mm. And then therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation. Of the righteous. Mm -hmm. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, mm -hmm. but the way of the ungodly shall perish. On Tuesday, Bishop started with definitions 
with your vital to the lesson. Yeah. Yes. And he defined the righteous. Who are the righteous? The righteous mm -hmm. are godly. The godly are the consecrated righteous who live according to God's standards of righteousness and of holiness. Mm -hmm. The righteous exhibit godly characteristics because they are consecrated unto God. Mm -hmm. Now we're just leaving our consecration for the new year. So we're right in tune with knowing who the righteous are. Yes. Then the second definition was for the blessed. The blessed are the recipients of God's blessings and favor, resulting in their being happy and content. The blessed have an inner state of contentment and satisfaction despite any external negative conditions. That blessed in the Hebrew, it means happy, blessed. So for our combined summary highlights that Bishop has given us for this Tuesday's lesson, start saying, the righteous are blessed because. Mm -hmm. Why are they blessed? One, they avoid living according to the standards of the unrighteous and death. Mm. The righteous are blessed because they take the position of righteousness. Mm. And the righteous are blessed because they find pleasure in the word of God. Oh, hallelujah. Now that scripture that we just read from Psalm 1, verses 1 and 2, were the highlight scriptures. And then for my overarching, overarching thought about the lesson, the righteous are blessed because they are blessable. You got to be in a position to be blessed. Amen. Which means they live the righteous live and move and have their being in God mm -hmm. and in his truth. They walk, stand, and sit, not in unrighteousness, but in uprightness or a re right relationship with God and also take delight living and meditating in God's word. Mm -hmm. The insight that I wanted to pick out from the lesson was insight number two on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It says the righteous are blessed because they live according to the truth of God, which is life. Mm -hmm. First John 2, 15 through 17. Love not the world, neither the things of the world, if any man love the world, the love of God is not in him. Mm. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the mm. lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Mm -hmm. So my concluding takeaway is godliness leads to life. Ungodliness leads to death. Mm. We choose the path of life by God's standards mm -hmm. or the ungodly, deathly standards that lead to destruction. So we do have a choice. Yes. Bishop's examples of Old Testament standards of righteousness that received a blessed outcome was Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from Daniel 1 and 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat. You remember the story. Mm -hmm. 
nor with the wine which he drank. And therefore, he requested the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Mm -hmm. Verse 17 is for these four children, God gave them a reward. God gave them knowledge and skill and all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Amen. And Elder Stephanie, we see what comes with being blessed is also being obedient to Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to just continue with Wednesday's lesson, February the 1st. And in keeping with our theme, living to see increase. Our lesson for Wednesday was the righteous are blessed. Amen. Now, as we see in Psalm 1, uh, and the verses that we have, the scripture that we have relating to the righteous today. <laughs> say, please, if you can right now, live chat and say, because the righteous are blessed, just say, I am blessed. Chat it, live chat. Say, I, am I am blessed. Now, come on, speak it and speak it. If you want it to come to be, if you don't feel blessed. Just speak it that I am blessed. I Amen. Am blessed. Because I some blessed. one tell us, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, and nor seateth in the seat of the scornful. That means that we have some prerequisites that we have to go by, the things that we have to be obedient to. To walk as a righteous person. Mm -hmm. But his delight is always in the law of the Lord. As Bishop taught us all the week so mm -hmm. greatly. And his law doth he meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. What is the law of the Lord? It's his word. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to stay in that and meditate church today. And, and that just going down at the end of the, the scripture. We just read that. Uh, Elder Stephanie read it. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Mm -hmm. Come on, now that's, that's something that God is saying. It, we, we know from the word that God hates sin. That's why sinners cannot be around. So the righteous are blessed as highlight number one. Because the righteous are blessed because they are planted as productive trees that flourish. You're like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. And you know why a tree planted by the river of the water and flourish? Because it has the water right there to nourish its roots. Amen. And all parts of it. That's what makes us grow. And that is the word of God. Psalms 92, 12 through 14 tells us the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Mm. Those that he planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Somebody say amen. amen. <laughs> they shall bring forth fruit in old age. And they shall be fat and flourishing. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord today. Highlight number two. So the unrighteous are not blessed because they are not planted as productive trees near a continuous source of water to flourish. So what do we need to do? Let's get closer to the water, the word of God, so that we can, so that we can flourish, be a source of of that lesson of water to us. Job 21 and 18 said, they are stubble before the wind and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're going to stand against the storm, we need to be righteous. The unrighteous, highlight number three, the unrighteous is not blessed because they will not pass the ultimate examination. What the ultimate examination is there to pass? We know what it is. And in Genesis 41 and 8, 
tells us, and it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled and he sent and called for the magicians of Egypt and all the wise men thereof. And Pharaoh told them in his dream, but there was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh. Then let's move to highlight number four. The unrighteous are not blessed because they portray a yield they do not produce. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mark 11, 12 through 13 tells us, and on the morrow, when they come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if happily he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. Amen. Mm -hmm. And highlight number five from this lesson is the righteous are blessed as they portray a yield that satisfies the truest needs of others. Please hear this. Please hear this that you will satisfy, this is what the righteous does, will satisfy the truest needs of others. Amen? Amen. God always wants us to be looking at others Amen. to help them. Amen. At Matthew 5, 14 through 15, see, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a, a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Let's move on to Thursday, February 2nd. The Righteous are Blessed, part three. Mm -hmm. We're going to split this one. Thursday's teaching in yes. half. I'll do the first two points and Larry will do the final two. Mm -hmm. The text that was used for Thursday's lesson was Psalm 1 6. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but mm. the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yes. God knows all. Yes. Matthew 7, 13 to 14. Mm -hmm. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way. Amen. That leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, mm -hmm. and narrow is the way, mm -hmm. which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. The summary highlight number one is the righteous are blessed travelers that enter the narrow gate and walk along the narrow pathway known by God. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. We just know that God knows it anyway. Yes, he does. And we need to be on the straight and narrow path. Mm -hmm. Matthew 7, 15 through 20. Beware of false prophets. Yes. Which come to you in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. But inwardly they are ravening wolves. Yes. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. Amen. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Mm -hmm. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Mm. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Mm. This is how we know we're righteous. Amen. Every tree that brings not forth good fruit is hung down mm -hmm. and cast into the fire. Amen. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. 
We have to know what the red, what kind of fruit it is. Take them on. The highlight number two. The righteous are blessed trees that only produce good fruit known by God. Yes. Scripture for that one is Matthew twelve thirty three. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. Yes. For the tree is known by its fruit. Yes, it is. Shall we just really uh, verifying what was already given to us in seventh chapter of Matthew? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <clears throat> The insight for that one I wanted to bring out was number two. Mm -hmm. Whereas the unrighteous may camouflage their inner conditions, so it's a lot of times you might not know mm -hmm. what's underneath. But they want to put up a, a good facade. Mm -hmm. The righteous transparently reflect their godly disposition within so you mm. will know you will know amen hallelujah pastor larry i'll let you take on the next tree amen and just continuing with the next two highlights the righteous are blessed part three highlight number three the righteous are blessed workers intimately known by god Blessed workers, get that word now. Blessed workers, that's in the kingdom of God. It's Second Timothy <laughs> two, nineteen. Said, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal: the Lord knoweth them that are His. And let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. <laughs> Depart from iniquity. Highlight number four. The righteous are blessed, wise builders, secured upon the foundation of truth that is known as God. That's the foundation of truth. Amen. First Corinthians 3, 12, 13. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed mm -hmm. by fire. Mm -hmm. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Where is... The final takeaway. Where is, whereas, rather, the Lord knows his blessed along their pathway. Their good fruit, good works, and good substance used. He has no relationship. Hear this now. He has no relationship with the unrighteous who live outside of his blessed fellowship. And Matthew 25, 6 through 12. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all of those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. Come on. And the door was shut. Mm -hmm. Don't be shut out, church. Yes. Afterward, came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, and, and this is, mm, I know you not. We do not want to hear this from the Lord, that mm -hmm. I know you not. 
So that is why we live righteous. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes. We thank God for this time mm -hmm. to review another week of yes. powerful teaching. Yes. From our yes. bishop. Yes. The righteous are blessed. Mm -hmm. And we know that because we've been taught it all week. Yes. From the word of God. And I just want to close with a, a song that came to my mind as I was reviewing the review for the day. Mm -hmm. Bishop gave it this week. And it says, this is how you know you're blessed. I've got a river of life mm -hmm. flowing out of me. Yes. It makes the lame to walk yes. and the blind to see. Amen. It opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing Amen. out of me. Amen. Spring up a well. Spring up. Within my soul. Yes. Spring up a well and make me whole. Make me whole. I've got a river of life mm -hmm. flowing out of me. Let us pray. Amen. Father, we thank you today. We thank you, God, for this lesson, this teaching on being righteous and knowing that the righteous are blessed. So, God, we thank you for your word. Mm -hmm. We thank you for what we've been taught all week, and we pray, God, that this world would will just be held close in our hearts. Thank you, Lord. And that we won't sin against you, but we will obey you. And that we will uh, produce good fruit, righteous fruit, because we're connected, mm. God, to you, and we are obeying your word. So thank you this day. We give you honor and glory. We give you praise for your word, for your love, your mercy and grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Now, if I could just leave with you, the righteous shall be blessed and will have much increase. Amen. Amen. We love you all. Love you. Amen. Amen. See you next time. Yes.